hello so in this video i'm going to show you how to fix that your phone that gets hot regularly we want to go into settings and we scroll down to location now while you're in location um what we want to do is to locate location services all right so we are right here in the location services now if you notice earlier let me go back you notice that your location is turned off so it is not consuming your battery um, it's not consuming your battery neither is it um, consuming any space on your processor so when you go into location services actually there are certain services that are still working at the background without you knowing and we are going to turn all of these things off because you do not need all these services regularly at hand but somehow google find a way to set it up so that it works at the background whether you're using it immediately or not so we're going to turn all of those things off number one is um, earthquake alert now when you live in areas where earthquake is not prone and your earthquake alert is turned on you might want to turn it off okay like in this area you can see from my phone is saying earthquake alert isn't available not supported in your region so even though there is an earthquake i won't get the alert but still yet google turns um, um android turns this feature on and this is working on the background you know constantly trying to um, dictate earthquake in places where they are known so fortunately for me i live in a region where earthquakes are not prone so i have no business with earthquake for now and at the same time this even if go um earthquake is prone around this area from the messenger he said earthquake alert isn't available not supported in your region so even if there is an earthquake i won't get the notification so this has to be turned off so that it doesn't consume my battery space and processor space and then generate heat all right so we're going to go back and then the next setting that we're going to turn off is wi-fi scanning now this wi-fi scanning constantly searches for wi-fi network around at the background all right so even when your wi-fi is turned off let me show you currently uh my wi-fi is turned off you can see it is turned off but if i come here um here you can discover that wi-fi scanning is turned on so this is regularly scanning and looking for wi-fi around but we do not want this because my wi-fi is not turned on all the time so i want to be able to control when i turn on my wi-fi i want to turn it off so i'm going to turn this off so that it doesn't work at the background consuming my battery um, and then consuming a processor space and then generating heat to the phone so let's go back and see bluetooth scanning you can see bluetooth scanning here so i'm going to click on bluetooth scanning bluetooth scanning is turned on so what what is bluetooth scanning does is to um, regularly start scan for bluetooth devices around that it can connect to even before you turn your own bluetooth on this is readily working on the background trying to get as many bluetooth devices as possible within within your locality so that it can make it easy for you to pair with them but we do not need this all the time so i want to turn on my bluetooth whenever i'm ready to pair with a device not just the bluetooth scanning randomly at the background without my knowledge consuming my battery space and processor space and generating heat causing my phone to overheat so we want to turn this off and whenever we need it we are going, going to go into the bluetooth area and just turn on the bluetooth this way all right so all right so this is turned off let us go back and see what are things we need to turn off to be able to reduce that heat that our phone is generating so let's go into google you can see we have google here i'm going to click on google google is open look at all services on the right hand side all services here i'm going to click on it all services is open i'm going to gently scroll down till i get to devices here i have devices so i'm going to click on devices now while in devices you can see that mine is on but for most of you if yours has not been turned off already it should be set on like this now what this does is to scan for nearby devices but we do not need this to scan for nearby devices i want to be able to scan for nearby devices when i am ready to 
puts it to work not just this uh, scanning randomly without my knowledge consuming my battery space and generating heat causing my phone to overheat because it's occupying space on my processor also all right so i'm going to turn this off all right so um, let's go back and see what other setting is turned on that has to be turned off all right so let's go into privacy and security now under privacy and security what you want to do is to go to ads all right no this ad is set up i'm sorry about that um, we'll go into usage and diagnostics now mine if you notice mine is turned off but for yours it's probably be turned on all right so what is usage and diagnosis now usage and diagnosis is uh, and diagnostics is um, a service that Google uses to be able to monitor your activities on your phone, the um, sites you visit, things you like, um, things you often talk about, and they're going to gather all of these things to help you um, model an advert that is tailored towards you sometimes if you notice sometimes you might search for a couple of things online or talk about one or two things online and the next minute you see google recommending those stops for you that is because google is using usage and diagnostics to monitor your usage on your phone and then use that to recommend adverts for you so because we are not using this right now and it isn't that beneficial to us at the moment because it just generates um, data for Google to be able to um, use to model a, a tailored ad, um, advertisement for us. So we do not want to turn this on because it occupies um, space on our processor, generating heat and causing our phone to overheat. And it also um, drains our battery a lot faster. So we're going to turn this off. All right, so um, that is it. This has been turned off. Um, we'll go down and see if there's any other thing that we need to turn off that is currently turned on. All right, so um, everything is... Oh, everything seems to be fine here. And personalized and... Uh, personalizes and shared data now this is under privacy and security under privacy and security you should see personalized using shared data so you're going to click on this and open it up now mine i've turned mine off yours will likely be on so what this is used for is is um, google trying to use um and share data from your gmail and your google drive uh, external medias and device contacts to be able to model advert for you so you're going to take all of these statistics and use it to model an advert that is specially tailored to satisfy whatever cravings you have products or services so we do not need them you're going to turn it off so yours should be yours should be turned on this way but make sure you turn them off this way so that they won't consume space um, on your processor generating heat and causing your phone to overheat and also reduce your battery power all right so that is it folks if you've done all of these steps you should notice that your phone temperature should be normal at this time thank you for watching if this video was helpful remember to like and subscribe and share so that others can benefit also thank you i'll see you in the next one